In the first presidential debate, China was mentioned 12 times. We sent waters down to New York's Chinatown to sample political opinion. Oh, this ought to be nuanced. No. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Kung Fu fighting, really? I like these watches, are they hot? JC Penny 398. <laughs> oh, God. Trump has been beating up on China. How does that make you feel? Speak! Speak! Why don't you speak? If that were my grandmother, I'd slap the shit out of you. Trump wants to build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Mm hmm. Square that circle. How do you have a job and I don't? This is the kind of guy that your friend brings out to dinner and you only put up with him because you think he'll pick up the check. Dear guys over eight years old, no one cares you can do this. Was there a seat in that? I gotta fast forward here. Yeah, Jake, it's Chinatown. It's gentle fun, so yes. I know we're gonna get letters, I, you know. So the next day he sends out a tweet saying, my man on the street interviews are meant to be taken as tongue in cheek, and I regret if anyone found offense. That's a non-apology. That's like saying, I'm sorry you're upset that I'm late. Or, I'm sorry you didn't like the joke. What is it with you guys? And then all the comments are stuff like, if they're offended, too bad. Maybe they need to toughen up a little bit. Do they call Chinese food in China just food? We need to toughen up a little bit because you offend an entire culture, and yet we tell you that your joke is terrible and you can't take it enough? Grow up, dude. Ugh. It's like one step away from you just replying, Well, me so sorry. Got Hennessy in my hand One more